Okay, so in this video we'll talk about PWM, Pulse with Modulation. It's a display technology for dimming the display, your brightness on your display. And for some people, that technology makes them get headaches and eye strain and get very tired and so on while reading on a display. As you may know, I read a lot of books and so on. That's why I bought an e-reader. This is a Kobo e-reader with e-ink display and the e-ink display on this one doesn't have any PWM or anything because it's an e-ink display. You can't get headaches of this display, but uh, displays on, for example, iPhone XS Max and above, so iPhone 11, iPhone 12 and so on, all these phones have the PWM technology and also all Samsung Galaxy phones with OLED displays. And in fact, OLED displays are the worst of them. So every OLED display has these flicker problems with PWM. And PWM makes the screen flicker while watching it. You can't see it with your eye, but the eye can see that. So if you know what I mean. So the eye is always working all the time while watching a display with PWM technology. So to get the same experience, at least almost the same experience when reading on an e-ink display, on displays, on mobile phones and tablets and so on, you need to do something about PWM. And for example, the iPad Air 4 that I have here, the iPad Air 4, doesn't have PWM at all. So you don't have any flickering on the display. So the only thing you get eye strain off while reading on this display is from the brightness itself. So for example, when you're reading in the dark and having the display, the backlit display on, you get eye strain by having the brightness on the display. And on the iPhone, modern iPhones, you have the PWM technology. So you all always have the flickering on this one so even when having a dark mode or light mode you always have PWM flickering so that's not good and also as I said all the galaxy phones but we can do something about this so let's start with the iPhone the iPhone the iPhone XS Max here and above you always need to have the brightness to 100% otherwise the screen flickers a lot with the PWM WM technology. As I said, you can see that with your eye, but if you're, for example, reading and so on, the eye sees the PWM flickering. So by having the brightness at 100%, the display panel on modern phones will have the least of the flickering. So as soon as you do this, the phone gets a lot more flickering, but when you have 100% on the display, you have less flickering. So please note, when reading books, for example, always have 100%. And when reading books in, for example, iBooks, you should have the dark mode turned on on an OLED display. Because the OLED display with dark mode turned on, you have less PWM flickering. So while having 100% on the display and you have dark mode on when reading books, for example, then you have less PWM flickering. But now we get to the nifty part and that is reduce the white point while reading. And to do that, you need to go into settings. So when you go into settings here, then you should go into accessibility, as you can see there. And here in accessibility, you go into display and text size. And down here at the bottom, you can see reduce white point. And when you turn this on, you will reduce the brightness of the white color. You still will have 100% here because you don't need PWM flickering. And then you turn on reduce white point. And here you see I have 95% and that is a personal setting for me. You should at least have 85%. You should not go below 85%. For me, I think 95% is a lot 
better. So now you have reduced PWM flickering by having full brightness 100% and having dark mode available and now have reduced white points. So now when reading books in iBooks like this for example you now have 100% brightness you have dark mode as you can see you have a dark background on white text and you also have the white point set to 95% in my case at least 85% as near 100% you get a less flickering of the display and less disturbance and less eye strain when having the white point as near 100% as possible. So now when reading this book on 100% and dark mode and 95% of white point I don't get so much eye strain. So these settings I have showed you now is the best you can do on an OLED display because the OLED display always will have PWM flickering and your eye doesn't like that. So this is the way to do and another the last nifty setting you can do when having the reduce white point you can put this setting into the control center so you don't need to go into all these settings and so on so here when you are in settings again you go into accessibility and down here you have accessibility shortcut so in accessibility shortcut if you allow the reduce white point to show up in that shortcut as i have here then you can go into control center and here you can add the accessibility shortcut in the control center as you see here you will find it down below here so you can click on the plus and the plus makes it available in the included controls as you can see accessibility shortcuts so now when i scroll down here i have the accessibility shortcut here so i can turn off the reduce white point really fast as you can see and i can turn it on really really, really fast as so as you can see so this will make your iphone from iphone 10s max and above more like an e-reader with e-ink because all of these settings makes your eyes tolerant and doesn't get so much eye strain and so on so now i can read books really great on this phone sadly samsung galaxy phone doesn't have the reduced white point setting at least not what i have found so you don't have that setting for galaxy phones sadly though but all the galaxy phone with oled displays you can at least have 100 percent on brightness and always use dark mode because that will at least make all the pwm flickering as little as possible but you don't have the reduced white point sadly that's not good for galaxy users but for iphone users you can do what i have showed you and now over to the ipad air 4 as i said the ipad air 4 doesn't have pwm technology so the display doesn't flicker at all actually you can see that on uh, different tests on the web and so on that uh, the latest ipad air 4 doesn't have any flickering from pwm and that's really great to know because then you can use this ipad as an ebook reader almost as e-ink and so on of course you cannot have the great e-ink display in direct sunlight and so on because you can almost not read in direct sunlight on smartphones or the ipad for example then you need a real ear ink ebook reader but in house if you know what i mean you can make an ipad as near an 
a ink reader as possible as i said you don't have any pwm but you can still do as i said full brightness but here we will have the difference from the iphone you should not use the dark mode and the reason for that is because on the ipad it doesn't have an oled display so when reading books and so on you have a better experience with a white background on with black text so what you can do on the ipad is go into settings and then go into accessibility and the same thing here go into display and text and down here you find the reduce white point and this is a really really important setting on an ipad air 4 without pwm flickering because when i turn this on this display gets really good for reading books you don't have the brightness shoot in your face and your eyes doesn't hurt while reading for a long time when having the reduce white point on so now i have 100 percent brightness with reduce white point enabled and when having that this display gets really great for reading i don't think you can see good on the video though but this display is excellent for reading really really great now with the reduce white point accessible and enabled so now when i go into ibooks this display is excellent for reading now you don't get so much eye strain anymore or anything so now when you have the reduce white point on and using an ipad air 4 without pwm flickering then you can read almost as good as on an e-ink e-reader so this display is perfect for reading now and the good point with this is if you have 95 percent of reduced white point you can even raise that up to actually 97 98 percent maybe when reading on with a white background on with black text and still be able to read perfectly fine and you don't get the the white brightness in your face while reading but if i would have a black background with white text here then the reduce white point when i have that enable this will not be as good reading experience because the display would be very very dark so i can highly recommend having a white background with black text and reduce white point on and 100 percent of brightness on an ipad air 4 without pwm flickering this is the best reading experience you can have on an ipad and if you want to remove the the screen glares and so on when reading you can easily uh, attach a screen protector a matte a matte screen protector that removes the screen glare then you will have almost the same experience as reading with an ebook reader with ear ink display the only drawback that you can't use this outside in direct sunlight it's impossible almost when having reduced white point on and so on but this is the way i have been able to use both the iphone and my ipad air 4 for reading ebooks a lot and i have also the samsung galaxy note 10 plus that i record this video with with that phone i can also read ebooks but i don't have the reduced white point on it so i need to have some pwm flickering sadly but uh, on the ipad air 4 you get the best experience of reading ebooks while doing what i have showed you now a lot better to read on an ipad air 4 when and it than it is on an iphone or on samsung galaxy phone with oled displays because the ipad air 4 has an eps display panel so that's why it doesn't have a pwm flickering so i hope this could be useful for you when reading and so on if you like reading books like i do and now you can read books inside on your 
iPad Air 4 or your iPhones with these settings I have showed you. Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do that. Okay, bye.